Teresa Swinehart, Senior Advisor to the President on Global Strategy, thanks for taking the time to talk to us. Thanks for having me here. Teresa, one of your responsibilities is overseeing the strategy panels, which Fadi announced at the Durban meeting in July. Where do those stand right now? Well, they've already been announced. Um, as you know, in Durban, he had identified the chairs of the panels, and then through an enormous amount of work, uh, and input from the community on identifying potential participants. We were able to work with the chairs to comprise the panels and have now announced the panels um, in order to start the process of both the panel's work and their dialogue with the community in that process. There's been some conversation in the community about whether or not these panels sort of fly in the face of the, of the bottoms up mm -hmm. strategy. I don't think they do at all. Um, ICANN has always been a living organization. It, uh, from the start, 15 years ago, has been an evolving organization in a very diverse and expanding environment that comprises the Internet and ICANN's role. And it, the model itself has numerous review processes. These panels are really focused on some themes and some topics that have come in through the community engagement, community input, that have been identified as areas for further dialogue. They're not coming out with final recommendations that are implemented. They're coming out with outputs that can be then incorporated into the strategic planning process, can be incorporated into community dialogue. But they're really focused on themes that have emerged out of ICANN's dialogues with the community and its evolution. And Teresa, what will happen to the output of the panels? Will it go, for example, to the, to the policy team at ICANN? No, the output itself will be something that is put out to the community, and it will be put out to the community in time for community feedback and additional community feedback on that, also incorporation into the strategic planning process and any other areas that aren't incorporated there for further community dialogue. So they will not be implemented immediately into any policy development process, but will go into the strategic planning process and into other dialogues. Uh, what sort of input will the community have into these panels, if any? A huge amount of input throughout the process. So the, st the strategy panels themselves will be um, positioned to have webinars, different forms of engagement with the community, different forms of dialogue. At the upcoming meeting in Buenos Aires, we'll ensure that there's also the opportunity for input there. So it'll be a dialogue with the community and also then an output that allows for the community to see what it is and to provide input through that process. So even though it's not an advisory committee, or mm -hmm. a supporting organization, the community is still going to be very much a part of the process. It's, this is all part of a community process, absolutely. Just focused on some core areas that require some attention. The original plan was to have these strategy panels run a year. Now, that's been cut back to what and why? It's been cut back uh, to about six months to end in about the early part of January, February in that time frame, primarily to not keep the dialogue going on forever, but have outputs that can be incorporated into the strategic planning process, as is useful, and then to ensure that we're actually not engaging in ongoing discussions, but you know, identify the themes, identify the outputs, and then move on on how to address them. Do, do the panels have any sort of guidelines in terms of how they function? I mean, is there a system set up for how they go about producing this output that they're expected to come up with at the end of, by the end of January? I think that there's some general premises about how they engage. Um, each one, though, is being led by a chair who obviously will want to work with their panelists in order to do it in the way that's fit for the topic area and the panelists themselves. The key premise, though, is, is that there's community engagement and community dialogue throughout the process. Uh, there were two panels that were initially announced, the strategy panel on ICANN's role in the Internet's, uh, Internet organization's ecosystem and the strategy panel on the role of ICANN in the future of Internet governance. Right. Those two have been combined. Uh, what's the new panel and why did you combine them? Uh, the new panel is ICANN in the Internet governance ecosystem. And it was combined because it was really felt that those two panels touched on areas that, that were interconnected with each other. And it was much more appropriate to address those, um, those topic areas in one panel itself. Uh, as a result, that panel is somewhat larger in order to accommodate expertise across, across the range of topic areas. But that was the reason for the merging of those. A and how are you assuring, how are the panels assuring that there's going to be the ac accountability and transparency that pretty much defines ICANN? I think the process through which they're going to be operating, uh, the transparency in the process through which they're operating, the, uh, the webinars, the opportunities in uh, Buenos Aires to engage, uh, and emails and various other media 
and social media mechanisms that are going to be used in order to ensure that the community is part of the process overall and that there's no surprises. And, and, and just to repeat what mm -hmm. you touched on earlier, what they're going to end up with, these outputs that they're coming up with are recommendations. It's not the final word? It's not the final word, no. No, they're coming out with recommendations. They're coming out with input into the strategic planning process in addition to other input that's being received. And they're coming out with recommendations on directions that one can go on in the future with the community, of course. Uh, Teresa, why choose this approach? Why have these strategy panels as opposed to a simply asking some of the existing uh, ACs and SOs to, to give recommendations as regards the five-year strategy? Why choose this approach? It's, it's an additional new approach. We already have approaches that allow for the ACs and, and the SOs to be contributing. We have different review mechanisms throughout the ICANN process, but it was really felt that this kind of approach would allow for the opportunity to take some core theme areas, bring in some additional new views, new ideas from a new range of community members and new range of expertise, and, and bring in some new thought. How were the members chosen, not the chairs, but the actual members of the various panels? How were they selected? Well, as was announced in Durban, uh, there was the request to provide recommendations of names and other you know, thought leaders into this entire process. And then with the chairs, uh, those, that input was reviewed, plus expertise and others that the chairs may have had in mind as well. And with that, uh, we worked together with the chairs to comprise what would be a diverse panel um, have expertise from around the world and different minds and different views. Teresa, thank you very much for taking the time to talk to us. Thanks for having me here.